What is up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. In my previous video, we talked about getting stuff done, getting your hustle, getting your passion project in place while you're in quarantine. This video is how to do that, how to turn your passion, how to turn your grind, your side hustle into a reality. I'm going to give you three different practical steps on how to get your dreams, your side hustle, your passion into place, into working order for you. So you don't have to sit on your couch and think, I wish I could do that, or I want to do this, but no, these are things to help you take action on your dreams. So let's get into it. My number one tip, and I've been doing this for, I think, three or four months now, and it's really helped me kind of create a better ecosystem for me and how I do things, if that kind of makes sense. Personally, for me, if I write something down on a notebook, it sticks to my brain a little bit better. It helps me realize what I'm supposed to do. So for example, if I just whip out my good old moleskin, you can see all of the things. This is literally YouTube ideas hyphen videos. I have all, this is my third book in the last three or four months. But all of this stuff is just ideas, stuff that I can work on. These are things that I love to do and I think they're going to create some sort of value. And so hopefully I get to do them in the future. But I think writing stuff down, physically writing something down on a notepad helps us uh, visualize on paper what it is we need to accomplish. Which that correlates into tip number two, and that is actually creating the goals. Set a timeline or a goal for yourself within that week. So I would maybe suggest span it out into seven days, right? So day one is today. Write some stuff that you want to do in the next seven days. Again, when I say get after your dreams and get after it as, as a side hustle and go after your passion, get work done, it doesn't mean do everything all at once. Go 100% all in all at once. It means gradually get to that place where you can find a flow for yourself, where you're actually getting stuff done at a regular pace. Very beneficial because you can see your goals on paper, number one, and number two, you can see the timeline of how you're doing those things. And tip number three, I think is maybe the most important one, that is find someone who can help you, find a partner, text a friend who can keep you accountable to all the things that you wanna do within that week after you write them down. Having someone else to help you and kind of push you along and say, hey, can you remind me in a couple of days how this thing went, or I, please check up on me to make sure that I got this specific project done or I need to finish writing that you know next book whatever it may be keeps us accountable that's what that person should be doing and that's what the accountability structure is set up for you want to use the time you have for free instead of using that time for Netflix and chill you want to use it for work and hustle I haven't found I didn't find anything cheesy to go after that but you know what I mean I, and that's what I'm trying to convey to you guys. Do something with this time. Do something that is going to bring you value. For, for those who may misunderstand, I'm not saying you have to post things to the world, okay? You don't have to do that at all. But whatever drives you to get out of bed, whatever makes you come alive, I think you should do those things. And if you choose to post it to the world, then do so. I do believe a mixture of all these three things combined can help you get out of the funk if you're in it, or it can encourage you to do a little bit more in this time of self-quarantine and self-isolation because I, I mean, if I'm being honest and watch Netflix, I want to watch documentaries. That's all I want to do. But there's always this urge, this thing that pulls me to just create a little bit more because I, that's what I love to do. For me to get out of my fun, out of Netflix and chill mentality, I have to do, I got to work out. I have to do a home workout or I have to go on a quick jog. I do believe these three steps can work for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on the John Q channel. Peace.